Good day, everybody. Today, a uh, number of messages I'd like to uh, talk to you about. And first of all, I'd like to start by reflecting on the significant bushfire season that we've had, that we've been through, and the significant contribution that all of you, as CFA members, have made to protecting the state of Victoria. You have uh, contributed an incredible 16,000 personnel days to the firefighting effort over this summer. And that's outstanding in, by anybody's uh, measure. So well done and thank you for your commitment. If we focus a little bit on Gippsland, I know that the Gippsland Regional Control Centre has been operating for 101 days. That's an exhausting amount of time. So well done to everybody that's been involved in supporting that. And still on Gippsland, we know uh, this summer they've tackled 1,066 fires in the bush. And they haven't done that all on their own. There's been support from all corners of the state uh, support from all brigades, many support personnel, uh, pilots and aircraft operators, aircraft managers, a combined effort that's really been fantastic. Uh, and of course, working with our partner agencies uh, in Forest Fire Management Victoria, uh, police, ambulance and the Metropolitan Fire Brigade have all had a hand in that along with a range of other agencies. So a, a fantastic effort and the contribution by CFA, absolutely significant. We did have some property losses, unfortunately, and that's, that's tragic, it always is. We'd try to avoid that at all costs, but let's not take away from the efforts you've put in and let's focus on the amount of property that you saved, and that was significant. An enormous amount of property saved by your efforts. And while I'm talking about a wrap-up of the bushfire season, let's not take that as me declaring the season over, because it's not. Uh, it's still extremely dry across most of Victoria, we all know that and there's no real rain forecast for the foreseeable future, so we need to remain vigilant. Uh, the days are getting a little bit shorter, a bit of dew at night, in some cases some frost, but that doesn't mean that during the heat of the day with windy conditions and an ignition that a fire won't run at will, so you need to remain vigilant. And as we move into the shoulder of the season, approaching uh, into autumn now and approaching winter, it's time for planned burning. And a number of planned burns going on around the state at the moment and there will be more in the coming days. So I'd encourage you to engage with the communities where you can, um, assure them that those burns are planned and they are controlled and how important they are to reduce the risk we're going to face again next summer. If you want more information on those planned burns you can visit the uh, Forest Fire Management Victoria website. Last weekend I had the absolute pleasure of being able to attend the Rural Championships in Bendigo. It was a fantastic event, very well organised by a local committee. And the, the competing brigades were absolutely fantastic in the way they conducted themselves. And to see the look of enjoyment on everybody's faces and talk to so many of you at those championships and get an appreciation for how important not only those championships are, but how important being part of CFA is, was really uplifting. So well done. I need to and would like to acknowledge uh, Greta Brigade for winning the seniors. Springhurst, well done on the Sunday and taking out the juniors. And of course I've got to give a mention to Sedgwick because they actually beat the Chief Chargers in that event. So well done to all of you, a fantastic effort and well done again to the organising committee at Bendigo. Uh, the coming days you'll notice a bit of a change in the naming of our operations officers. We're changing the name of Ops Officers to Commander. Now that's a commitment uh, we signed up to in an enterprise agreement at uh, a step towards making some uh, common terminology across the fire sector in Victoria. So it's a name change only. They'll still be there doing the fantastic job they do. Nothing changes there. But you will notice that your, your ops officers are referred to as commanders in the coming days. I had the absolute pleasure of attending Bayswater Fire Brigade to present a national medal to Marty McFadden of Bayswater. Absolutely great event, very emotional event. Um, well attended by uh, Marty's family and most of the Bayswater Brigade members and past members and uh, I was there with board member Peter Shaw and it was our privilege to be able to present the National Medal to Marty in recognition of his outstanding service to South Australia Fire Service, CFA and more broadly um, our great country. Um, unfortunately and sadly Marty passed away two days later but just to be able to be there and see the enjoyment and pride on his face of being part of CFA was an absolutely moving and uplifting experience and a very humbling experience for me. As Easter approaches, um, that means the Good Friday appeal is almost on us again. So I'd encourage brigades to get involved in whatever way you can in that appeal. Um, over the years, all of you at CFA 
have raised um, over $32 million for the Royal Children's Hospital, which is a, an outstanding effort for a great cause. And that's just CFA's contribution. So I'd encourage you to continue to do that. Be involved in the collecting the other fundraising activities, or if you can't do that, just consider making a donation. Another initiative that's uh, about to be rolled out is uh, finding a replacement structural helmet for our volunteers. Now we're going to conduct a trial, uh, get your feedback and, and uh, find out which helmet it is that you want for structural firefighting. We called for expression of interest for people to participate in that trial and we received uh, 450 expressions of interest. So clearly we can't put 450 people through the trial, so we'll shortlist those and we'll be in touch with people shortly. Now that trial is going to be fairly quick, it's not going to go for months or years, it'll be a number of weeks and we'll fo uh, focus that trial, run specific drills and exercises to really put the various helmets through their paces and get your feedback on which one works for you. While well, we're talking about how amazing uh, the CFA people are that we have, give some consideration to nominating a worthy recipient for the Australian Fire Service Medal. The AFSM is a single biggest honour that um, any firefighter in Australia can receive and there's only two or three of those awarded each year from a CFA perspective so it's uh, not something that's won lightly but if you have a person that's really contributed at the district, regional and state level and think they might be a worthy recipient of the Australian Fire Service Medal, visit the awards website have a look at the criteria and consider making a nomination. Thanks everybody and stay safe.